And after a short break, we're back. This is Figures of Action, and today I will be taking a look at the Dragon Horse S002 MTF Zeta 9 Mole Rat action figure. I got this in the mail a few days ago from 5K Toys. He is currently on sale. If you can get it before it's sold out um, from 5K. It's available from other places at higher prices. I would suggest trying to snag one from 5K Toys while you still can. Now, this and the DHS-001 Red Right Hand are both action figures based on a community collective of uh, art, stories, and all kinds of stuff based on the uh, SCP Foundation. So if you're interested in that, you can look that up. I think it's uh, Secure, Capture, Protect. It's kind of a online collective of stories and art from what I gather. And forgive me if I get that wrong. Um, and they've got a uh, free use, share alike uh, attribution uh, for their stuff as long as you, you know, if you're going to use some of their stuff and your stuff, they would like, you know, to be acknowledged that you are, in fact, using their stuff. So, I'm using their stuff. Alright. This is the figure. Now, I didn't know anything about SCP, but I did know that Dragon Horse made some really cool looking accessories that I'd never picked up because they get expensive really, really fast because they're highly detailed and very cool. This was a military looking guy in a hazmat suit, which is something I hadn't really seen before, so I thought that was really cool and was why I wanted to pick it up. I originally wanted to get one of the red right hand figures, but missed out on that one. So after having this guy for a couple of days, I have a few thoughts. Um, very well articulated. Uh, a lot of details and sculpt on this guy. Uh, the articulation, like I said, is uh, very good. Um, I love the accessories. I love that he's got the air tank. He's got the gas mask. On. This reminds me a lot of some of the old uh, 3A figures. But this is a lot more military and less uh, street where the three figures were definitely more, uh, had more of a street look to them. Uh, this guy came with a bunch of hands, weapons, uh, stickers. Okay, he came with four weapons. So he's got a modular assault rifle there. Get a modular submachine gun. What I mean by modular is uh, the scopes and silencers uh, both come off. Uh, this one has a what I was told was, I guess, their version of a holographic sight and then also a laser sight, like a red dot or something. The silencer is removable. He's got a grip there on the front that I tried to get on the SMG, but I couldn't get the clearance between the clip and where it would slide on that. Anyway, uh, and he came with these labels. The SCP, the Dragon Wars logo, some other stuff. Uh, more hands, uh, a radio, a couple of attachments. You could possibly get one of the weapons onto one of the straps he has. He has an axe. Um, there's a hose that connects to the back of the air tank that goes up to his gas mask, but I couldn't really get it to fit into the hole here where it shows, but you can kind of set it on there and it'll sit there with tension, but if you turn the head, you've got to um, reposition the hose. 
working with a sidearm that honestly was so hard to try to get into the holster. I actually had to use a little bit of uh, silicone shock oil on the barrel to be able to get it to slide in there because I was pretty sure it was going to break trying to get it in there the first time. Uh, I did uh, pull it out a while ago for the video, but it looks like it's not gonna go in now without a whole lot of pressure, so I'm not gonna try that again on camera. He also came with this nifty knife that goes there. Um, I did undo the, uh, the hood earlier to get a better look at the head, but out of the package, Gone around and velcroed. Something more like that. Something uh, more secure looking for a hazmat uh, type suit. So, um, the uh, holsters. The belt there might be removable, it might not. I haven't tried and I'm a little out of practice with the little tiny buckles, so I don't want to embarrass myself here on camera. It looks like the uh, vest might be removable as well. Uh, this guy is a little smaller than most six inch figures. He's more of a uh, import scale six inch where if you know about Figma or Bandai, you'll know what I mean, uh, compared to like an, uh, a domestic uh, six inch figure. Yeah, he comes in at just under six inches. Uh, could technically be 112 scale, but he's kind of, you know, small. Um, here he is uh, for comparison next to the uh, V Toys uh, six inch plus uh, Ninja, also available from 5K Toys. And here is the uh, DLZ Toys uh, Skull Sergeant figure, also next to him, wearing the uh, Spec Ops type head, as opposed to the uh, skull head that he also has. But that's another figure. All right. This has been a very short and impromptu look at the new Rats action figure from Dragon Horse that I thought was cool enough to actually stop and make a video of, which is something I have not done in a long time. All right, that's it. See y'all next time.